Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation in Seattle. And um, uh, sort of a side note on a project we are working on, what we're working on right now is this uh, program where in Google Earth you can watch the storm, uh, watch the uh, uh, Hurricane Center's um, uh, track uh, forecast uh, along with the uh, buoys that have cameras and uh, uh, buoys that have cameras and buoys that have um, just wind and uh, sea state data. So in that process though the question came up someone asked me um, well what's the water temperature doing as it goes as this as this storm moves west north uh, northwest like this because if the water gets warmer the storm is likely to get more intense and so forth so that led me to take a look at the program um, luck grib that's a grib viewer very powerful uh, grib viewer and then to download the artoff's model that's the artoff's model of the uh, water temperatures and um, then this this shows the water temperatures and it does about a four day three or four day forecast and this uh, and, and you see here is a picture and oh wait let me back up this track here is the location of the storm at the various days from when it makes landfall on I think Thursday or Friday and to where it is uh, where we my first data point is here and today this morning uh, which is looks like a Tuesday right about here the storm is about here and so the idea now and then then I discovered something interesting so you notice this water temperature uh, here see the water temperature is up here in the corner and so this is like 80 and the rule the guiding rule we have in our textbook and other places is you really have to have water over 80 degrees Fahrenheit to have a hurricane and uh, so those, those conditions are all met very nicely here. This 85 degrees, 85, 85, and so forth. So uh, the first answer to the question is the water temperature really doesn't change that much. It goes, it's actually going down slightly, slightly here. But this you see is a patch of warmer water. This is a border. It looks like this is measuring like 85 degrees inside inside this uh, ice well, iso whatever this is 85 degrees outside here and the back here this water is cold water 78.7 uh, 78 water here so here then was the now what i want to show is the interesting thing we discovered with this program which has beautiful graphics and so it allows us to see that so here is now, this is a Monday. Oh, and the thing I wanted to mention too is I had gone through here. We, because of our buoy study, we have a nice, nice uh, picture. Where was it? Right, um, right here. See, we know where all the buoys are. And so with those buoys, then we can go read those buoys and compare the water temperature with what the RTOS model says. And it's actually very good, within a half a degree. A little bit surprising. So the model for the water temperature seems good. Then the other thing we have to keep in mind is this water temperature model has to have, well, it's actually a currents model, ocean currents model. It's a, I don't, I'm not showing the currents because that's not the question right now, but the, it's showing ocean currents. And for the ocean currents, they have to have a lot of factors. They have to have the temperature of the water. They have the height of the water surface. And then they also have to have a wind model. And the wind model that they're using, probably GFS of some form. And so that's what's in, uh, playing into this question. So here we go. And here's what I want to show that turned out to be really interesting. So here's now Monday. This is where the storm was on. Uh, this is about like three. This is about like three hours. This is like about here. But this model was run here. So this basically, though, is the water temperature at this model. Now, let's watch the storm then the storm is moving up here and you can watch where it crosses these data these crosses these dates uh, on what date down here is showing the, the the water temperature so we just watch this thing and and watch this water here this is a uh, isotherm isotherm here uh, isotherm of cooler water and so look what happens as that storm moves towards the coast you see that cold water coming along behind it that's called the cold wake 
the cold wake. So what this storm is doing, and here's where the storm is now, and here's where the, the waters are cooled down. So what this storm is doing is actually sucking the heat, the energy that needs to make the storm, is sucking it right off the surface, out of the surface of the ocean water. And so it cools the water behind it. And this is just an absolutely fantastic picture that we can see in this uh, Luck Grip viewer uh, showing that taking place. So let me go back down and do it once more. And then you can just uh, compare, you know, this time with where the, st where the storm is, then this time here, that's uh, and so forth. And you just watch it go right up the coast, like right up across the ocean like that with this trail of cold water. See, here's 74 degrees. It was 85. This water was 85 degrees before that storm went by. And it just sucked 10 degrees of temperature out of the water behind it. That's, you know, and that's, that, that's one of the role. Well, the f folks living along here are not going to be... Um, going to be that happy about that but uh, one of the things these storms do is distribute redistribute the heat energy on the globe but this uh, I was just is a chance observation here using this program to see this in action this cold wake it's called a cold wake and the other thing we see is what happens is when one of these storms stops and it stops like that you see what happens is it just then if, it, if this storm for some reason slows down winds aloft or something or other cause the storm to slow down then it's just going to suck all the energy the heat energy out of the surface water which is what it has access to and then it, it drops below the 80 degrees that it needs and it uh, the hurricane starts to dissipate so if they slow down or stop uh, they're going to eventually just die out on their own accord as they burn up all their energy. So this is uh, just what I wanted to show here with this, uh, uh, this interesting example.